Now, what I have in front of me here is a picture of an enlarged coronary artery. You can see right here, there's a wide open hole, a little plaque, more plaque, more plaque. And apparently you can put a catheter in here and place a stent in there. Malcolm, show me what a stent looks like. So the stent is very delicate. We expand the stent just like that. So this is the stent right and here. That is a stent that would go in a heart artery. So that goes in the middle of the artery and then you blow up the balloon with your tire pump. Correct. <laughs> and that opens it up and lets, it just does the stent, which is metal, that immediately goes out and opens up. It does. The stent stays, then we deflate the balloon and the balloon is removed. So the balloon is just in there long enough to expand the stent. The stent is permanent. I think that's so amazing. Uh, is it difficult, more difficult in some people if they've got a total occlusion? Uh, do you have to ram it through there? It, it is. We have a lot of tools to use. So if it's, it's completely blocked, sometimes we have to use our extra tools. It's nice to have one that's 70% or 80% because it's easier that way? It is, yes. Uh, and when you've got more than one vessel, like two, mm -hmm. two different arteries you say you can put in, that's better. If there's three, you sometimes have to think about bypass. Uh, how much time does it take to put in that stent? Typically about an hour or less. Let's go to the cath lab again. Let's mm -hmm. forget the coronary vessels. We've already talked about if you have a heart attack, one of those vessels is completely occluded. You can go in and open that, establish the blood flow. If somebody's having chest pain, you can open up those vessels. What other things can we do in a cath lab to improve heart function or keep the heart from causing problems? Right, so now in the past when a patient had narrowing of the aortic valve, for example, the main valve exiting the heart, they had to have open heart surgery to replace the valve. What would go wrong with that valve? It would, uh, be insufficient or stenosis? What's the difference between those? So we say sticky or leaky. By and large, the valve becomes thickened and sticky. It does not open properly. Leaky is a valve that can have leakage back and forth. Either one causes problems to the heart. So the problems that it causes the heart would be eventual heart failure? Yes. yes. So can you correct that in the cath lab? We can. We can now go in with a catheter procedure called TAVR, T-A-V-R. What does that mean? It's transcatheter aortic valve replacement. Aortic valve replacement. So yes. we're gonna replace that whole valve. That's right. And then that's the valve. When the big heart pumps, it throws the blood out the aortic valve. If it gets sticky or if it gets leaky, you can fix them. So show me what you do. So this is a model uh, where the aortic valve was narrowed. And with a balloon catheter technique, we go in and place a stent valve, and again, deflate the balloon, take that away, and the stented valve remains open, and that releases that narrowed or stenotic valve. Do that again for me. Sure. So this, this is going to go up through the artery. That's right. And you, you approach the aortic valve. That's right. And when you get there. We expand the balloon, which expands oh the prosthesis. Uh-huh and then we deflate the balloon and remove that and the valve remains and so now they have an open valve and allows the heart to pump the blood forward. Now this looks awfully big to me to go through an artery to get to the heart. Uh, is it all compressed down and then when you blow up the balloon it's up there and it's That's stage? exactly right. So it's all compressed on a catheter and it's delivered, it's fairly uh, small in profile, mm -hmm. and then it's expanded open to be the proper size for that patient. How does it stick where you want it to stick? I would mm -hmm. be afraid it would fly away. Yeah, well, it's, it, and they're very good about that. They're, actually, the valves are very well seated and, uh, and then they heal into place and we've had excellent results. Now, Therefore, now when the heart beats, it's gonna throw blood out through here. Correct. How long does this valve last? Well, it's an excellent question. Uh, so far, it looks to be very comparable to the surgical valves uh, that have been replaced with open heart surgery. Um, the valves that are done with open heart surgery, what is, that means where you gotta do surgery, you gotta, what we call crack the chest, you gotta open it up and do direct surgery on the heart right there. Here you just do it all in the calf. We do. And Lab. surgical aortic valve replacement is very successful. It's excellent. 
but this is a much less invasive procedure to accomplish you know the same thing how do you check to see if that's working a month down the road six months down the road a year down the road what do you have to do to check on it we can do that with ultrasound called echo so you can just put an echo probe and use ultrasound to take pictures of the valve and it'll tell you if that heart valve is working so we can replace the aortic valve. any other valves we can replace yet we're not replacing other valves but we are working on a leaky mitral valve with what's called a mitral clip and we can do that through the cath lab also. Now, a lot of people have a mitral valve prolapse. I would call that a leaky mitral mm -hmm. valve. Will these clips be able to fix that if they needed to be? Or is it a more severe mitral? It's more severe mitral regurgitation or a leaky mitral valve. Now, with the heart, the heart, the, the big pump, mm -hmm. gets its blood from the left atrium through that mitral valve. That's right. And then when the heart beats, it closes that valve. That's right. So the blood throws out to the rest of the body. If the blood goes back, then you can't, it's not as efficient, and that's where the clip's gonna work. That's correct. Can you do, and you can do that in the lab? We do that as well, in the cath lab. And right now, they have to do something open heart if they can't do it in the cath lab. Correct.